again and thank you for choosing to watch another instalment from my YouTube channel, Benidorm and Beyond. Today I'm taking you for a walk along some of the smaller and more tucked away streets in the Old Town that all lead off one of its main thoroughfares, Paseo de la Carretera, otherwise known as the Walking Street in English. We start on the Paseo itself where we see the large glass fronted premises of Viandas Benidorm. Here you can buy some of their award-winning products such as ham, cheese, sausages, olive oil and wine or enjoy a drink on their terrace while sampling a pastry or succulent jamon serrano baguette from their fresh bakery selection which is displayed in the window facing the walking street. Next along we pass the Little Britannia bar which spans both sides of this street, Carrera del Bon Retiro and here you can try one of their delicious cocktails or maybe one of their six draft beers along with cooked English breakfasts and a variety of hot and cold snacks. I filmed just after 1 o'clock in the afternoon when it usually gets a lot busier but there were still customers about, no doubt grateful to get a seat before the upcoming lunchtime rush. Moving on, we then pass the now permanently closed El Febo Steakhouse where the family who ran this popular business have now decided to move on to other ventures. Opposite is the Italian restaurant and Trattoria La Pasta who open daily at 7pm and back on our left hand side we see the BH Urban Skateboarding and Streetwear Shop who offer all the top brands and also have an online ordering service. Continuing along we pass British Bar Little Coopers. Here you can enjoy a drink in a friendly atmosphere as well as being able to catch all the live sports and they have many beer bottle deals advertised but don't forget to take cash not cards as euros in the hand are king in many smaller establishments in Benidorm. Moving to the corner we see the red and white check tablecloths of the Italian restaurant Bellagio and then as we join the next street along the rather awkwardly named Carrera d'Alcalde do Jaime Ferrer Nom de Du we see a nice pavement cafe offering a coffee and tostada or croissant for just two euros up until 12.30 so somewhere I must return to try out. We now turn right passing the residential apartment block of Edificio Nancy as we go and then after seeing the sign in front of us for the hostel Benidorm Beach we turn right again onto Carrer del Rosary where on the corner we see the bright blue premises of the Emanas Gomez Estate Agency. Carrying on we pass the tapas bar of Los Amigos on our right hand side with a wealth of different tapas and drinks deals available and then we see another tapas bar Los Gallegos which sits opposite the happy shrimp and its vibrant multicoloured tables and advertising boards. If you'd like to support my channel and future vlogs by making a small donation you can now buy me a coffee or even two or three. Just click on the down arrow next to the vlog title which brings you to the description of this video. Then follow the link provided at the bottom, it's really that simple. Thank you so much. Packed full of bars, eateries and restaurants now, we then see Los Alquimistas promising a good range of drinks, cocktails and bites to eat and then La Bodeguilla and La Torteria y Tapas Bar again with lots of offers outside including jugs of wine, beer or sangria with six accompanying tapas from €11.50. Euros. Moving on we then pass Bar Galicia with a further selection of mouthwatering tapas to try and adjacent is the Los Pinchos Morunos Bar who have been here serving their delicious marinated meat skewers since 1968 and who often have queues outside when they are open in the evening times. If you want to find out about some of Benidorm's most popular hotels then why not check out my great series of vlogs giving you an unbiased look inside and out. Just search YouTube, fly on the wall, followed by the name of the hotel you're looking for and all the info will be at your fingertips, it's that simple. Passing the orange sides of the Luckier Gaming Salon, we now rejoin Paseo de la Carretera or the walking street, turning to our left. Here on the corner, firstly we pass the outlet leather fashion shop of Palazzo and 
and then the Goffrey's Mannequin Piss Takeaway, who sell a variety of sweet treats, including tasty waffles with endless toppings to choose from, along with artisan ice creams, crepes, slushies, and even an old-fashioned banana split. We then see the stylish shoe shop of J.R. Garcia, who have been trading since 1975, and then we turn into another side street, Carrer San Miguel. Here on our left we pass the kiosk of Bam Bam, who sell donuts, crepes and ice cream, and then the menswear shop Berto Moda Ombre, selling all manner of clothes for the smarter gentlemen around town. On our right hand side we then walk by the Northern Soul restaurant, where on Fishy Friday a regular beer battered cod with chips, mushy peas and homemade tartar sauce will cost you 9 euros. And then we see Collier's Bar, which has been run by Martin and Pauline from Aberdeen since 2016 and offers a variety of seven beers on tap, with the restaurant 69's Not Just Burgers directly opposite, offering gourmet burgers, cooked breakfasts and more, so you really are spoilt for choice. Moving on, we pass Harry's British Bar, which is owned by Sharon and Graham from Darlington, where you can enjoy a shot from just two euros to get the party started, or maybe a longer drink in the form of a jug of fat frog, cheeky vimto or traditional sangria for 12 euros. And opposite, we see the herbalist shop called La Tienda Amaria, or the yellow shop, and it certainly is. On our left hand side again we then see the Excalibur bar with a selection of drinks and tapas offers advertised outside on their blackboards and then the company bar on the corner who open at 7pm through until 2 o'clock in the morning and feature drag queen acts at the weekends. Turning right at the end of the street, we now walk past the back of the three-star Hotel Alameda, which can be found on the neighbouring Kaya Alameda, or Gin and Tonic Alley, and this brings us to the labyrinth of small streets that make up the Basque Zone, or Tapas Alley area, which I will cover another time. I really hope that you've enjoyed this short, sunny and informative walk along some of the old town hidden away streets with me, and if you have, please help me out by watching some of my other great street walks, hotel reviews, news, updates and other content, and maybe learn something new along the way too. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you out and about on Benidorm streets next time. Bye for now, hasta luego, and catch you again soon. Cheers! <laughs>